to a brand new vlog. I've been off my vlogging game for a little bit here because things have just been a little hectic. Basically since we moved in here towards the end of August, I've been traveling like every other weekend. <laughs> like I have been away from home more weekends than I've been at home. And then the weeks end up just being like a whirlwind of having to get so much work done for my nine to five job and my business and making content and all of this stuff that I feel like I just haven't been able to keep up with like life admin. Like I just feel behind on normal things like cleaning the house. There's a giant pile of laundry in my bedroom that hasn't been able to get done and all of this stuff. On top of that, October is my favorite month and it's almost over. And I feel like I haven't fully been able to kind of soak it in. I did get to see some you know beautiful foliage up in upstate new york when i went for my best friend's wedding which was last weekend but honestly i just haven't been able to soak in my favorite time of year as much as i'd like to and thinking about like how i usually do that honestly it's really just like getting cozy at home getting into routine autumn really feels like a time for kind of routine and like grinding but at the same time like cozying up having comfy evenings the sun starts to go down earlier like watching movies and doing all of this stuff so i'm excited to just do that and that's kind of what this vlog is going to be centered around a bit of life maintenance resetting here at home and just getting cozy and comfy for the autumn so thank you so much for being here i hope you enjoy it and let's get into the vlog first thing i want to do is show you a couple things that i got i have been wanting knee-high black boots for years and i have trouble like spending money on stuff like clothing and shoes and all of that i wouldn't consider myself a minimalist but trying to stay relatively minimal with elevated basics in my wardrobe and all of that sort of thing while still having a personality so i've been wanting these boots for ages and i hit a specific milestone in my business and decided to treat myself and i got these beautiful vince camuto knee-high black boots and i'm going to show them to you there is nothing better than a boot box like this feels so luxurious. Like, are you joking? Look at this. So I've been wanting these for ages. Finally got them. They're perfect. So then I was like, all right, need to go on Pinterest and see like some outfits that I can put together with these. And I kept seeing like kind of midi length dresses like sweater dresses and midi length like silky skirts and stuff like that so i got a couple of dresses to go with my new boots i'm going to do a quick try on for you of the three dresses that i got from h&m with my new boots of course i will link everything below if you want to get it for yourself okay this is the first one it's like a denim midi dress which i love and i honestly think these boots are the nicest things I've ever put on my body. Today is Thursday and I have to go into the office later because I'm working an event, like a gallery opening this evening. I think I'm gonna wear this to that because it's actually nice out today. It's like in the 60s. <laughs> so although I'm feeling autumnal and cozy, it's actually kind of a warm day. So this one would be perfect. Here's the second one. It's a black sweater dress. Please ignore my white undershirt, too lazy to change it. This is so soft and cozy, but it looks so like put together. I love it. This one is something else, you guys. I love this dress. This literally never happens, but I think I'm gonna keep all three of these. I really love them and they all look so good with the boots. Cannot wait until it actually gets cold so I can wear like this one. All right, I hope you enjoyed that little haul. I'm gonna go get ready to head into the office for the day. I ended up choosing a different outfit for the office today. It's just like a black pencil skirt that goes down to my knees. Sorry, you can't see that. And um, white like linen shirt with this turtleneck vest over the top. Pencil skirt's from ASOS. White shirt is from H&M. And the turtleneck is, I believe, vintage Calvin Klein and I thrifted it. Okay, and then before I head out, I'm gonna have a little bit of lunch and I wanted to show it to you. I made this for dinner yesterday. It is pearl couscous with roasted Brussels sprouts, sweet potatoes, and chickpeas. The tofu I cooked on a pan with some uh, cornstarch to give it kind of that crispy edge. And I just put some feta and balsamic vinegar on the top. So I'm going to eat that for lunch and then head on out to the office for the day.
All right, so we whipped together some last second Halloween costumes. We literally went to the party city this morning and it was so picked over. There was also about a million people in there. It was very overwhelming, but got two things. A little princess tiara and these cute little gloves. And I figured I could put the rest of the outfit together from stuff that I already have, so. I am a goth princess. And I'm a royal knight. <laughs> I'm a royal knight. <laughs> What's the plan, my knight? We are going to have a great time. <laughs> and drinks. Wow, this angle is truly terrible, but there's nowhere to put you in the bathroom. Unless I get out my big tripod, which is kind of a process. It's now Monday morning. I checked in with you guys very briefly on like Saturday night when my husband and I were going out um, for a little Halloween celebration. We don't go out too much and like going out for us is not like what that used to mean to me in college by any means. The like nightlife in Boston is really, you know, different, I guess, because it's mostly bars like there's just a few um like clubs and things like that but there are a lot of college students at them and then some of the places that are a little bit more like club e are more in the like um seaport area and areas like that that i don't really go because they don't even feel like boston <laughs> seaport weirds me out because it's this like sterile like place that looks like, you know, it looks like, like a financial district. Like everything looks the same. It's very not Boston, so I, I really don't like going over there. Anyways, <laughs> that was a very long story to say. Going out for us means like going to a couple bars. So we go to this bar and we get there and we see like a literal sea of people who are dressed up like Crayola crayons. I swear to God, there were like 40 of them. So this whole place is just flooded by crayons. Like there's other people dressed up as well, but like the overwhelming majority of the people in this bar were dressed up as crayons. It was so funny. And they were lit. They were getting down. So anyways, we, en we enjoy ourselves. There's a live musician. We get some Harry Potter themed drinks and we have some food and whatever. And then around 11.30, the bartender just like slips me this envelope. We look down, we read the envelope and it says Halloween costume contest winners for not being crayons. <laughs> they literally wrote on the bottom of the envelope for not being crayons. And they were like, you know what? We were supposed to pull this out and award it to someone at like 9 p.m. but we were so flooded by these crayons. We literally didn't have time. You guys have cool costumes. You're not crayons. Congratulations. <laughs> we randomly won $100 for not dressing up as crayons and going to a bar decorated like Hogwarts. <laughs> so so that, that was my um, Halloween going out experience. It was very fun. One of my favorite things about my marriage to my husband is that we are genuinely like best friends. Like I enjoy being around him so much. So going out like just with him was such a blast. Anyways, yesterday I had dance rehearsal as usual on Sundays. We all dressed up in little costumes. And then today is Monday and I am just feeling so behind on life things. Like I just feel like, you know, I have dishes to do, I have laundry to do, got an Instacart order coming today. I feel like I'm behind at work and behind with my freelancing. Like I, I'm just feeling a little bit stressed and a little bit like behind on life things. So I'm really trying to tackle everything today. We are getting our shit together today, getting groceries, doing laundry, taking a bunch of returns to the post office. Don't forget to return your shit. First things first here, getting ready. I'm just gonna sit down to work for my nine to five for a little bit. Hopefully get a lot of good stuff done for that. I also have my little pumpkin spice latte over here that I'm sipping on while I get ready. My Instacart order should be here. I'll show you a quick grocery haul. It's like a ton of stuff because we have no food right now. And then once the groceries get here, I think then I'm going to 
um, head out and do those few er errands, get my returns done, etc. I need to drop my rent check in the mail and I'll take that as an opportunity to go for a walk and like listen to a podcast and everything. I literally have three loads of laundry to do in between all of this crazy life admin that I'm trying to do. I'm also obviously going to be working. We are tackling this Monday head on. <laughs> All right, and here is the massive food shop. We have some eggs, some Greek yogurt and Icelandic yogurt. As a vegetarian, I eat a lot of uh, high protein yogurts. Then I have some whole grain bread. There's some non bread underneath there that's gonna go with a Indian curry recipe. Then we have these wraps. I typically use these for eggs for breakfast. Then vegetables, which is most of my groceries, spinach, cucumber, avocados, peppers of a bunch of different colors, some jalapenos, Brussels sprouts, mushrooms. Always gotta have the oat milk. And then these are my favorite brand of vegan sausages. We have some like chorizo type uh, sausage as well as like an Italian sausage. I put these in like everything. And then we have asparagus, some green onions, bananas, lime, and an onion. And then I have some extra firm tofu. I eat a ton of tofu as well. Um, some Smart Balance butter, roasted red peppers for a recipe, veggie stock, I put this in a bunch of different things. Um, we have been loving these uh, Magnum bars recently for dessert, some coffee for the espresso machine, um, pasta as well as orzo, tortillas for tacos, um, cherry tomatoes, we have this simmer sauce to make a curry quick and easy, some chickpeas, a can of diced tomatoes, coconut milk, have some pearl couscous, um, some protein granola to go with the yogurt, and some protein bars. So I am going to get to it with putting all of this stuff away. This makes me so happy. I love having fresh groceries. essentially my biggest events for the entire year are launching on the same day. At my nine to five, I run our Giving Tuesday campaign, Giving Tuesdays on November 29th. So we launched the campaign on November 1st, which is today. And then my dance company, Nozama, has a show on December 3rd. So we also launched our like ticket sales campaign today. So it has been wild. It's now like 1230 and I feel like I have already lived an entire day. I'm so happy that I was able to kind of do all of the life admin, like catch up things that I wanted to do yesterday, did all the laundry, got fresh groceries, returned a bunch of stuff, went to the post office, you know, did all of the things that I have just been feeling so behind on. So I was just set up to you know, get into work and uh, dance company things this morning and get those two big launches out the door. If any of my beautiful viewers are here in the Boston area, I would love to see some of you in the audience or for you to follow us on social media and stuff like that. That would be so wonderful. So um, let me show you our show materials that we just launched. This is like the main graphic for the show. That's the details right there. It's at BU Dance Theater. 
And that's me. So this is our Eventbrite page to buy tickets. The show is called Descent. I will actually go ahead and leave a link for this for you all down below, just in case any of you happen to be in the Boston area and would like to come see kind of the other side of my life as a dancer and director of this company. Catching up on one thing at a time, you know, we did the life admin, we did the dance launch, the work, caught up so much on stuff for my nine to five over the past couple of days. And now I really need to catch up on freelancing. So I have a few big deadlines coming Coming up that I really need to get working on. So today is kind of just a boring old work day at home. The good part is I don't have any Zoom meetings at work today because everybody knew that I would be tied up with uh, launching the Giving Tuesday campaign. So we're going no makeup, we're going active wear. I just had one of these Siggy's Icelandic yogurts with some protein granola and I am immediately still hungry. So I'm going to pull out some uh, leftovers from last night's dinner, which I showed you all. It was absolutely delicious yesterday, so I'm excited to eat this again. center and it's in like the same little like um shopping center area and i was like if you're going to micro center i'm going to trader joe's so we did that and just got like a few little things flowers etc and i'm gonna try this pumpkin alfredo sauce with some ravioli tonight and see how it is i always worry with things like this that it's gonna be like too sweet for my taste because i don't like sweet stuff with like savory food. So we're gonna try this out and I'll let you know how it is. super chill day because we both had a long week so we had a slow morning had some coffee went on a nice long walk and then as you saw we started baking a pumpkin cheesecake so i'm really excited about that we'll see how it comes out and then i have a dance rehearsal in like an hour and a half or so here so just gonna relax a little bit get ready for that and get going over to rehearsal and then hopefully we'll be able to do like a taste test of our pumpkin cheesecake for you later back from rehearsal and it is time to try the pie. So it's cold in the fridge. This is what it's looking like. Stunning, beautiful, gorgeous, amazing. Literally looks perfect. So I'm gonna cut into this bad boy and we're gonna tell you what we think. She is beauty, she is grace. <laughs> My battery's flashing so we gotta do this quick. All right. It's so good. It's literally a mix. It's literally a mix between pumpkin pie
is now Monday morning and I'm getting ready for the work week. I'm feeling very energized. I've been a little bit like tired lately and also um, daylight savings just happened yesterday. So the sun sets super early now, which is such a bummer. I do definitely deal with some mild like seasonal depression. So if you do as well, I see you, I feel you. It might sound silly, but like genuinely just romanticizing it is the thing that truly, truly helps me. So like, you know, it's gonna get dark early. So romanticizing that with like, candles making the house cozy getting some like new decor and you know having a, a cup of hot cocoa or like a nice comforting meal watching movies like re-watching comfort movies that i really love and stuff like that and of course documenting it all as i do that genuinely helps me kind of um, get myself out of that depressive rut it's just hard to find the energy to continue doing things once the sun goes down like I, you all know I'm a workaholic, <laughs> but even during this time of year, you know, once the sun's down, it's just like, ugh, I really just want to relax. I don't want to do anything. Um, so there is going to be a lot of kind of pushing through and making sure that I can get the work done that I need to, to achieve my goals. But then also like being compassionate with myself, being graceful with myself and saying, you know, if you need to take it easy and just romanticize this cozy, gloomy, dark night, that is what you're going to do. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to talk about that because it's kind of looming over us at this point. And if you struggle with that too, um, I hope you can find some ease and some joy within this season. <laughs> also just want to say the our taste test the other night of the pumpkin cheesecake, such a fail because my battery died and I didn't have the, I have two batteries and I, I usually have the other one like charged and ready so I can just switch it out. I didn't have it ready. So we couldn't, we didn't end up actually being able to do like a true taste test of the pumpkin cheesecake for you but it was so good i can link the recipe below i'll have to ask my husband because he kind of led the charge on that project i love cooking like savory food as you all know i i cook a ton um and that's kind of my thing and he's been like i want to get into baking lately so the pumpkin cheesecake was his little project and i think he did such a good job so i'll have to ask him what the recipe for that is and i'll put it for you guys in the description i'm gonna go ahead and finish out this vlog here i really hope you enjoyed all of the autumnal vibes i know i did if you enjoyed this vlog please do give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I'm still a very new small channel, so that stuff truly does help me so much. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you in the next one. Story's great, but you were late to make your mind up here. I've read the sequel and I'd like to see more atmosphere.